Hello my friends, welcome back to Hoogie Place and the Trucker's Vlog here on Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, vlog number 82 today. And we are uh, still in Iceland. In uh, a place called Porlaxhöfen. <coughs> on the west side of the island. Loading up this... Uh, flat trailer here with uh, loaded with uh, cement or beton going to a small island here uh, not far from here actually uh, called Vestmanöjar and uh, let's take a look at the map to see if we can see where we are going <coughs> you see we are here in Porlaxhöfen where we unloaded in the last vlog we are going via Selfos out and taking a ferry out to Vestmanöjar and we are going up here to BSV and uh, it's uh, 209 kilometers so uh, well it's not a very long journey it's uh, it's a normal journey normal length journey and we are as you see we are moving east towards the ferry that will t uh, take us from Iceland uh, sometime not far from here and uh, well it would be nice to take this road up here but I'm not sure whether I will do that or not but I have time to to uh, think about that while driving so uh, let's uh, start the journey then and uh, it will be a, a night drive this uh, as you see it's only 20 minutes 21 minutes past one at night but it's still bright so uh, I thought that I could take this journey even if it's late at night I still have some driving time left so uh, while I'm here I can I can uh, use all the time that I need and uh, since this journey isn't that long we will probably um, manage to do this as well before it's time to take a break so uh, yeah we are on our way it's been a little while since I drove the last time uh, actually a little more than a little over a week ago and the reason for that is that I have uh, I've had an eye surgery or actually two eye, eye surgeries because they they uh, corrected both my eyes at the same day I had I have had a fractal error since birth and uh, it has not been any problem uh, earlier but it has been uh, it has become more and more uh, disturbing over the years and uh, with my age I've also got cataract and uh, the combination cataract and fractal error is not that good so uh, I had to have eye surgery so I had that uh, on Friday the other week and um, the, uh, the surgery went well thank you for letting me go I hope these AI drivers here on Iceland are not to be trusted perhaps not the best uh, the best uh, exit from that road from me but that is actually the only way to uh, to get out on the bigger road yeah so I had uh, eye surgery uh, last Friday and everything went well until Twelve hours after the surgery, 
something went wrong and uh, I didn't know what, what it was, but of course I had complications uh, that you can get, but don't do not often get, so uh, well, I got them, and uh, therefore the healing has uh, taken more time than um, what it normally does. But uh, today it's very good, even if uh, there has been a lot of changes uh, from what I'm used to. Now I have a very good visibility uh, without my glasses, so I don't have glasses anymore. Uh, at least not normal glasses. I have reading glasses because um, I see poorly uh, from near distance, so I need glasses. But from far distance, I have very good visibility, clear and good. So um, that's good. But. At least I, my visibility, my normal visibility now is uh, very good, and uh, that is what counts. And here you see my vi very nice um, light setting on this Scania RGL on the road again after eye surgery and after complications and everything. It's very good to be back, but still I uh, have <laughs> I have some um, things that I need to get used to, and uh, that is uh, I will probably have to have uh, have to get me uh, a pair of uh, computer glasses because uh, well it's. Uh, it's a little, it's a little, uh, well, I'm not used to, to um, have this good visibility. I'm sitting here, uh, looking at the, the screen. I'm sitting in a, with a distance from the screen that is somewhere between long and short for me so um, therefore I don't know which uh, if I should use if I should use oh sorry if I should use uh, reading glasses or not but I cannot sit closer to the screen because that doesn't feel good, and I cannot sit. Well, I could perhaps sit further away from the screen, but well, I will. Um, I will try out the best distance. See if I can get 100% visibility. It's a minor problem. At least I see very clear now. So even if the the surgery, the eye surgery, is a little scary uh, because, well, it's not it's not nice when someone is mixing with your eyes, but. Uh, I must say that it has been worth it all the way and uh, I can really recommend it for those of you who needs an eye surgery. <coughs> totally worth it because there is a whole new world opening up. And <laughs> actually I'm not very sure of where I'm going. But uh, let's follow the GPS and see where it leads us. I 
I know that I'm on. I'm in Iceland somewhere, and I'm looking for um, for the ferry that will t take us to Vestmanaia. Uh, probably we will end up at this ferry not far from here looks like that at least so uh, I will uh, I'm very glad to be back it's nice to drive again but I will uh, not drive as much as I did before the surgery. At least not. Uh, at least not uh, now. Uh, not that early after the surgery. I need to uh, to adapt to uh, my new lenses, and that might take some time. But I will, of course, drive a little now and then. Because just because I like it, we are going towards Hella. I'm not sure if Hella is where we will take the ferry, but it's uh, starting to uh, get to lighten up. good so as I said I will uh, I will not drive that much uh, right now but uh, I couldn't resist driving today so uh, finding a short journey like this was perfect for me at least to see if my computer still worked it did, and uh, I'm longing to to uh, get into it again, so that we can continue our convoy driving with uh, Mr. Swede, and hopefully with the big boss uh, when he's ready to drive. And, uh, my American Truck Simulator vlog as well. most important thing is to um, is to let time play its role in this and uh, it's Manoir, 42 kilometers so it's not that that far now And uh, yeah, time will uh, hopefully work for me. And even if I have 100% visibility on, as it is right now, <coughs> it's the the visibility in short range that will uh, that I will need to. Uh, Correct in the future. And here is a oh, traffic accident. And we are going right here. This uh, map, uh, I missed it. It's uh, 
very nice to be back here on Iceland even if I'm looking to looking forward to uh, leave Iceland soon is that our ferry there or is it another boat it's uh, hard to say looks like it can be our boat waiting for us and uh, people are in more hurry than I am but I really think that ah okay we are going here of course Let's see now where we can find our uh, check-in point here on uh, the ferry terminal. Should be down here somewhere, I guess. Doesn't look that we can uh, board the ship, but we have this marker here that will probably lead us to the ferry yeah perfect and uh, parking brake and uh, let's check the options and we are going to Vestmanöya 40 minute ride as you see perfect so uh, time to embark And my friends, welcome to Vestmanöyr, where we will try to find VSV. And uh, this uh, ferry was one of those that you uh, embark and leave the ferry from uh, a place outside the ferry and not within. So, uh, but it doesn't matter. Actually, it's uh, I'm fine with that. The only thing that matters is that we can find our receiving company here and, uh, it was actually a little tricky here but looks like we can fix this yes good so Vestmanöyer actually a place that I've never heard of before but there's always a first time for everything are in the middle of this small island city or island town delivering these con uh, beton pipes probably for some sort of construction site it should be that long only three kilometers to go now we have at least discovered this uh, part of Iceland as well. And, uh, BSV. We have uh, good. We have uh, a gas station, but I don't need to fill up. Not yet, but I could do it before I leave this island if I want to. Very nice uh, harbor here. A lot of fishing boats. I guess fishing is one of the biggest, largest industries here on Iceland. In Iceland, I should be very. surprised if uh, it wasn't and, uh, this reminds me of driving up in uh, Norway when I was driving truck and trailer there then I was visiting places like this 
very close to uh, to the ocean and uh, in small fishing fishing uh, towns like this one we should reach VSV soon I guess we have zero kilometers left now <laughs> but it's it's really a lot of oh there was our parking spot let's see if we are going to park in this way or in the other direction then a lot of traffic down here as I said turn around here then we can do it like this a lot of traffic as I said must be a mod Thing. Let's see if we do it like this then. Just drive around this container so that we end up in the right direction. As I said, not sure whether it's in this direction or in the other, but we will see. Very close to to uh, to the port, to the water as well. But well, it must be this direction because I had a, an indication of that. don't want to drive in to the water but well this looks perfect great green light there and we are in place <laughs> so the first uh, the first after eye surgery journey is uh, completed and uh, well perhaps not the the best uh, driving but uh, at least I got here in one piece and the cargo is unharmed so uh, let's disconnect them and uh, well my friends concrete pipes delivered from Porlagshöfen to Westmanöer uh, 3756 uh, euros perfect and uh, thank you for watching thank you for coming with me on this journey i hope that you have enjoyed it even if uh, i was a little rusty but uh, i hope that i will get into it again uh, very soon and i hope that you will come with me on uh, my future journeys as well please uh, subscribe like and comment and uh, until the next time take care everyone see you bye bye